So we're in Devonport, Tasmania, and we're about to go line up, ready to jump on board the Spirit of Tasmania. Our first stop when we get off, we're heading straight to South Australia. And we are going on a boat. We are going on a boat, aren't we, Bart? Yeah. 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 Kids are getting excited. We're uh, nearly at the terminal to get on the boat. Max is jumping out of his skin. I just can't hold my horses. You can't hold your horses, can you? Can't hold his horses. Body passes and also your cabin keys as well, so please don't bend them. Alright, cheers, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Just like that. That's new. So apparently now the tickets are your cabin key. So you used to get a hard plastic one, and now your tickets are your cabin key. So there you go. grabbed our night bag with all our pyjamas and stuff, a um, couple of little snacks and taking note of where we are parked. Deck 6, Blue Starboard. Alright, hopefully we remember that in the morning when they're waking us up at 6 o'clock. that before when I was looking, I was actually looking at the wrong decks, so we're on deck five, so please remind me of that. They're all right, that's Gramps and Granny. Was that your parents? That was my dad, not my Gramps, the kids Gramps, and Granny, not my Granny. They're stalking us. <laughs> what number are we looking for? Just a couple of weeks before we left Tassie, Gibbo's parents made the spur of moment decision to come join us on our travels to Cape York Peninsula. So they'll be joining us over the next three weeks and we're super excited to have them come along with us. Well, we've made it off the boat and it's probably the earliest wake up we've had on our whole trip. We're not morning people, so excuse the bags under the eyes. Anyway, where are we going? So we're currently on our way to South Australia. We're going to make a pit stop in Adelaide to go get some modifications done at HPD. So we're looking forward to that pit stop. And then we're straight up the Cape, so it's all exciting in here and we're keen for some warm weather. We're already getting better at this waking up early thing and wow, what a sunrise to wake up to. Hello, just in at HPD in Adelaide, getting a new intercooler put in the car. So that's the factory one. See it's only, what, 30 mil thick probably. Plastic end tanks. Here's a new one. Probably a good 70, 80 mil thick. Full alloy. After the boys at HPD had finished the install of the new intercooler and the remap of the ECU, we started our 4000k trip to the tip of the Cape. What are you going to land on us, buddy? Here we go. It's hard to get it in perspective, he's a bit close. This very unique campsite is called the Ringer's Rest Area. It costs $10 a night and is located in the town Mariba, which is 45 minutes from Cairns. Hey, Doss. So we're heading out on Sky Rail today and we thought we were killing it. We were early for the first time ever in our lives. 
and we got here and the kids are like, but we haven't had breakfast. Whoops, our bad. So we've had pancakes for brekkie, didn't we, bun? Kids are pretty stoked. So we're on our way up to Cape York. We've just left Lakeland now. We've filled up with fuel, food, everything like that. So we'll see how we go with how well we've packed and stocked up. We are currently towing the caravan and we're just going to tow it until we just decide it's no good. We'll see how far that gets. Um, we've got the rooftop tent as well. So we're going to divert off the main road and do some tracks and some beach camping and all that. Um, at the moment, it's bitumen. And apparently the corrugations are pretty bad already, so we'll see how that goes. Hey. Alright, so we've just hit our first bit of gravel road on the Cape, so we've stopped, we've aired down and taped up all the air vents just to avoid getting any unwanted dust inside just in case. Always better to be safe than sorry. So here we go. Let's do it. Well, it didn't take long for us to have our first little hiccup. We've had our intercooler pipe pop off, so we're just gonna have to slip it back on and tighten it back up and we should be right to go again. So we've had a little spider web in the corner of the car for a while now, but no sign of a spider. Well, it's just <laughs> and mishap number two, we haven't done up the nut tight enough on the UHF after we took it off at HPD. We were cruising along and making really great time, but unfortunately at some stage we'd lost contact with Big Gibbo and Jenny. Now due to the lack of reception and being out of UHF range, we were unable to get hold of them. We waited by the side of the road for over an hour before deciding that they'd probably set up camp for the night and maybe we should do the same. Now we decided to camp at Canal Creek, which is located about eight kilometers down the old telegraph track. The track was quite corrugated and rough in sections, but the caravan did really well. However, we would not recommend towing a caravan down to this site simply because it is quite tight and the campsite can be quite busy, meaning it's very hard to turn around. We were up early in the morning and we were on the lookout for a lost granny and gramps. So we've made it to the Jardine River Ferry. Uh, last night we were trekking some big k's and we lost track of Gibbo's parents and we couldn't find them. We didn't know whether we should turn back and go looking for them. We didn't know if they had stopped or what was going on, but we've found them here at the ferry and we're pretty stoked about that, pretty relieved um, that nothing had happened. It was just, they thought they'd gone the wrong way. So they actually backtracked and did an extra 100 Ks yesterday. So they, they were really tired, as you can imagine. Um, but yeah, we're at the ferry now. We've just filled up with water here. There's free showers, there's toilets, there's fuel. Um, and of course the ferry. Last night, we found them. <laughs> but yeah, we're here. We're gonna make it to the tip today. Now the last 
nice little drive to the tip is actually nothing like what you'd expect. It is so green and so lush and it's just really pretty to drive through. Where are we? We're at the tip. Tip well, of nearly, what? Nearly. Take you up. This is it. So we got to send the kids first in case there's any crocodiles. But look at that. Take out, guys. Beautiful. We made it to the tip. driving from South Australia to the tip in just 10 days, it was time for us just to chill out and enjoy some camping. We decided to camp out on the east side of the tip at Sunset Beach. This is where we spent the next week. a bit of a walk from our campsite at Somerset and we found some turtles in the water and some wicked caves with indigenous artwork. It was definitely worth the walk. Where are you going Daz? What's up there? A lolly? Come back and walk. That's Axel yabbering on on the radio. It looks like that's uh, that's Jill of the Jungle. I don't know where she's going. Now the kids have been absolutely hanging out for me to climb up and get them a fresh coconut. They've never had fresh coconut before, but they really wanted to give it a go, so up the tree I went. Operation get the coconuts out of the tree. I've tried climbing up and scratched my leg, so I've got jeans on, I'm gonna try that. But first, Gibbo's gonna try his idea. And safety first, he's gonna wear a helmet. Nice. Good one. Safety glasses and safety helmet. Beautiful. <laughs> hey, it actually worked! And after all that, the kids think it tastes yuck. After a week camping with Granny and Gramps, it was time to say goodbye. We just spent a wonderful week with them, camping at Somerset, relaxing at the beach, but it was time for them to start their trek back to Tassie. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave us a like and a comment. Let us know what you reckon and be sure to tune in next week as we hit the four-wheel drive tracks.